I'm here with senior quarterback AJ Rogers, senior receiver Max Thurman. Max, four catches, 110 yards on the day. I mean, talk to me about your performance tonight. Uh, you know, all practice, I coach has been saying they're gonna call my number big time. I'm needing to make a big play to win this game, and made a big play to win this fucking game. I mean. I mean, he, it seemed like AJ was trying to look for you a lot down the middle um, in that second half, and he finally got to you to get that big play in the red zone. You guys end up scoring. I mean, how good did you feel to finally, I mean, to finally connect? It's our senior year, you know, we big game. We wanted to win this game. We've been having this game circled on the calendar all year. It's the only game that we truly wanted. We came out here, we got the dub. I mean, shoot, it feels amazing. This has been my guy since freaking seventh grade. Like, it feels so good to just be out, be able to come out here and connect with him and do it for the last time. Cause it's, it's all we got. We only got two more games up guaranteed, but maybe not playoffs. So it feels really good to connect with my buddy. I mean, can you just talk about the mindset going to these next two games? I mean, specifically the next game. Uh, my side is don't get complacent because I feel like after a win like this, some teams would be like, oh, we're not gonna we're gonna look past South or a not so good team in the past, but they're actually good now. But we're gonna keep applying the pressure and we're gonna try to get this done. I mean, Ben. I mean, he was. You guys utilized him a lot in that second half, specifically in the past game. You you found him a lot. I mean, can you just talk about it a little bit because it seemed like you guys were trying to establish Jacob and, and Max here, but then. The second half came. He he kind of became yeah. a big feature of the offense. Yeah, my boy Ben. He stepped up a few game a few weeks ago. I mean, a sophomore getting. I mean, I would not be able to do what he's doing as a sophomore. It's amazing. We knew we had to come to correct because he's an ex explosive player. If you get the ball in his hands, you, we know we can make a play. So the thing was really just get the ball in his hands. I mean, bouncing back off two losses. I mean, I know a win like this, especially how I mean, as you guys said, you had this circled already. That I mean, paired with. Bouncing back off two straight losses, I know it has to feel good. It feels amazing. I mean, it honestly feels better. It would have felt better. I mean. <laughs> no, you're fine. You're fine. <laughs> I, I care about uh, not losing more than winning. So that's what I was trying to say. Uh, it feels good to win, but it just feels freaking amazing not to win. I mean, just talk before I let you go, just talk to me about that final drive. It seemed like in the fourth quarter, I mean, things, it, it, it's starting to seem like they yeah. were running away with the game. You guys finally got a, a big stop, yeah. and you guys finally scored again. Yeah, I think we need to just put more uh, drives together in more of the quarters. Um, last play coming down, I kind of just asked for the ball on the one-yard line. I knew I could get in there, so I just lowered my shoulder and got in there. I didn't know one was going to stop me in that moment. I mean, I, before I let you guys go, I talked about Max's performance. I mean, you 200, 231 yards, multiple rushing touchdowns. Talk to me about your performance. How are you feeling about yourself tonight? Uh, I feel all right. I just want to give credit to my O-line and my coaches and my team. So, God, uh, without God, I wouldn't be able to be here today. So, yeah. I mean, congratulations to you both. Great win, great game. Anything you guys want to say before I, get you, before I let you guys get out of here? Uh, Mayfield. Thank Mayfield, you. let's go. Thank you, both. Here is senior defensive back Jack Elliott. I mean, Jack, I mean, 21-17 20, win, first and foremost, congratulations. But you guys played your tails off defensively. I feel like in that first quarter, your interception was a big momentum swing. I mean, can you just talk about that a little bit? Man, it was just great to see. I mean, I, I've been itching for one, and I'm glad I got it, especially against this team. They've been beating our ass for about four years now. It's just glad to get one. Jack, I mean, you guys, it just, I was just talking to Coach Manny Aaron. It just seemed like every time you guys' defense were called upon, you guys came up with the big stops when they matter, whether it was, I mean, big, big plays on third and fourth downs. I mean, interceptions when you needed, you, Harris. Can you just talk about that, you guys' defensive resiliency tonight? I think it stems from uh, just us as a uh, like as a as a unit. Like I think of us more as a family than we are a team. Like we really have a bond that I don't think anybody else really has. So anytime that they pop something that's a big play, we don't turn on each other. We really just stick together. I mean, coming into this game, three of your last four games, you guys give up 30 points. You guys give up 17 tonight. How how good does it feel to kind of get back on track and get get back rolling defensively? It's an amazing feeling, man. Because this is this is something that we know we can do, and those those hiccups aren't something that we want. But some that happened, obviously. So um, it's, it's just great feeling to get back on track, man. I mean, anything else? How, can you just talk about the mindset going into the next game before I let you get out of here? Uh, man, it's always just a win. Uh, we haven't schemed them up or anything yet, you know, week by week. But we'll see how it goes. Obviously, we're looking for a win, but we'll see how it goes. Good luck to you, Jack. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Here with head coach Ross Bandier after the 21-17 win. I mean, coach. 
talk about that for a quarter. I mean, it seems like for the most part, you guys, you guys went into it with it was things seemed to be tilted in into their favor until you guys got that big interception from Harris. I mean, how were you guys able to stay composed when the game just kind of seemed to get out of hand? You know what? Our schedule keeps us composed, man. I mean, we play a very tough schedule. It's uh, you know, we just had Chardon last week, Kenton the week before. Um, you know, East Lake North was a six nothing game, close game. Our kids have been in games like this, so we were ready for it. And we just kept saying it's a long game and let's keep let's keep fighting let's keep fighting and see what happens and our kids made plays tonight finally i mean you guys got the key stops whenever you needed it it seems like every time you guys just needed to play defensively and you guys caught upon your defense i mean they answered the call can you just talk about your defensive effort tonight they've been the backbone of our team the whole year they've you know i mean we've been very good against the run i'd say for the schedule that we play and our, our defense just kept coming coming out it's like hey put the ball in their hands and let's go and uh, they made some interceptions tonight. We caused some fumbles. Uh, we just played. We just had to execute on offense one more time, and we and we finally did it. I mean, how how did, do you feel like the turnovers is what kind of got things going for you guys? Because I feel like in the first quarter things started out slow. Elliott caught the pick. You guys got going on offense. Come out in the second half, things were a little bit slow. I mean, Harris caught the pick, and yeah, you guys yeah, finally were yeah, able to get going. Yeah, yeah, man. I mean, it's just it's a game of swings. You know, I told them at the end of the third quarter we got to weather this storm. Like they had just scored, then we punted back to them. And, we just had to weather the storm and just keep fighting and keep believing. And I think our kids have been doing that all year. And uh, like I said, we finally got one to go our way. I mean, bouncing back off two losses. Just talk about the just the morale right now and how you guys are Oh, great, man. It's just, it's, it's, it, our kids work too hard. You know, uh, we got Kenson, Chard, and Riverside back to back weeks, back to back to back weeks. And uh, this is a good football team. And we, we just, Went blow to blow with them tonight, and we, we, we came out on top, fortunately. I mean, Coach, you guys play hard. Congratulations once again. Anything else you want to say for others you got here? No, I just love our team, and I love our coaches, and our coaching staff did a great job, and just very proud of everyone here. Making it. It's always a pleasure, Coach. Thank you.